let's take a closer look at the ARCHICAD interface. This application was designed by architects for architects. The easy-to-understand graphical interface and the visual feedback will help you to quickly familiarize yourself with the program's capabilities. The central part of the interface shows the floor plan of our project. At the top of the screen, the tab bar shows the other open views. At the bottom of the screen, a set of icons helps to navigate this view and set the drawing scale and zoom factor. To the left, the toolbox, which is divided into four parts, contains all the tools necessary to build the 3D model and to complete the documentation. Using the cursor, you can stretch it to see the names of the tools. The first part contains selection tools. In the second part, you can find the following design tools. Using the third part, you can activate the documentation tools. And finally, in the fourth part, called More, are some additional tools. To the right, with the Navigator icon, we can see the pop-up Navigator, which lists all aspects of the project. Here we can jump from story to story, or to different 3D views, sections, elevations, and details. At the very top, the menu bar lists all the available commands, grouped logically. Commands for file operations, editing, and viewing functions can be selected from the corresponding menus. Since design and documentation are separate processes in architectural practice, tools and commands supporting these processes are located in separate menus. Commands in the Option menu regulate basic settings and the work environment. The Teamwork menu supports collaborative work, and the Window menu sets the visibility of the toolbars and palettes. The Standard Toolbar contains some of the commands and functions available from the menus. It can be found right below the menu bar and is fully customizable. The entire user interface can be arranged into so-called schemes in order to fast-track repetitive work. However, this feature is outside the scope of this training guide. The info box shows the current settings of the selected tool or the characteristics of the selected element. Try it by clicking a different tool from the toolbox. Look at the changes in the info box. Changes in the info box are immediately reflected in current settings, or the attributes of the selected element. The info box can be resized, similarly to all boxes and palettes, to reveal more information than in the basic settings. If you are using a monitor with a wide screen, for example with the ratio of 16 to 9 or similar, it's much better to move the info box palette to the left or to the right side of the screen. By doing this, the info box becomes bigger, so when you're searching for a property, you don't have to scroll. You can quickly change or restore the panel's layout by applying one of the previously saved work environment profiles. 